On today's Fit to Eat, I'll be preparing stovetop hickory smoked salmon with pan-seared vegetables and a tomato aioli. My guest is Jackson, Mississippi native Paul Lacoste, a coach and trainer whose company, Paul Lacoste Sports, trains thousands of athletes every year. Registered dietitian Rebecca Turner has some helpful tips on buying yogurt. It's going to be a great show, so stay tuned. Welcome to Fit to Eat. I'm your host, Rob Stinson. Today, my guest is Paul Lacoste from Paul Lacoste Sports, a coach and trainer with an incredible reputation of squeezing performance out of potential. That's right. I, I thank you for having me on your show, no doubt. I'm excited about being here, and I need you to squeeze some some intelligence out of me and help me learn how to cook better. For I, sure. I absolutely will have a blast doing that with you today. This is probably my favorite recipe from my favorite restaurant. This is a smoked salmon that you can do on top of your stove, and it's easy to do, and we just sell an insane amount of this at Salute, my wow. Italian restaurant. I'm so, ready to go. All right, this, this is gonna be kind of fun. What we're gonna do initially is start the smoking process. So everybody probably has some kind of turkey cooker or something like this. Yeah. The only thing that's important is that inside, you have a rack so that the fish doesn't sit on the pan, okay? Gotcha. gotcha. So now we're gonna take, and I'm just gonna take these ingredients, some water, pour into those chips, all right? And then literally just pull these chips out. Now I'm gonna put you to work in a minute, all right? All right, so, great. All right, we're gonna throw them over on this side and I'll tell you why. That burner is on. The burner that's over here is gonna be off. Gotcha. This is a really neat trick. And it works really well. I had a, a buddy in Colorado show me this years and years ago. So now we're gonna turn the heat on in the front end, right on about medium high, okay? Okay. Then I've already taken the liberty of spraying this with a zero fat spray. I'm gonna do it again just to be safe. All right, and now we take this beautiful salmon. I tell you what, let, let's get, did we get a close up of that salmon? Cause I tell you, that's some of the prettiest fresh North Atlantic salmon, okay, wild. You do not ever want to buy farm caught salmon, just not healthy. So let's pop this now on the rack on the opposite side. We're going to do an extra piece because I think at some point I'm going to let you taste this. <laughs> I'm hoping you'll let me eat all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, now the, the key, and you see it's already starting to smoke. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do this. And now we want to go about six minutes. Okay. Six minutes of smoking is, is all it really is going to take. So what we're going to do in the interim while we're doing that, because that's only going to smoke it. It's not going to cook it. Right. But you could have that smoked and keep it in your fridge for like three or four days. So it's a neat way to keep something in. It could be tuna, salmon, grouper, chicken. I do it with vegetables. I do it with portobello mushrooms. Oh, wow. It's really, really neat, really neat. All right, so over here, let's, let's have a little fun. And I thought we're gonna have a pan-seared vegetable dish, because I know you've been talking to me about wanting to really get into making sure you have vegetables. Talk yep. a little bit about your training and, and what you do. Well, we do big boot camps in the early morning uh, here in Madison and Jackson. We train the state legislators, and uh, we also do a program called Fit for Teaching, where we train educators in the summertime. Fit to eat, fit, fit for, for teaching. teaching. Man, yeah. I love and, and, it. And it's, uh, it's a great program, but I keep telling people I can only have them for one hour a day. And the rest of the 23 hours, they have to take in and eat the things that, that they need to eat to be healthy. That's when they need to watch the show. That's when they need to be with you. And see how simple this can be. So I'm, all I'm gonna do is just a fun little knife skill. And, and it's so simple. When people start learning that, gee, I wanna do my veggies and cook them quickly, the key is to slice them in the right way so that they're easy and they cook quickly. So carrots, again, carrots are a little bit denser than squash. So you wanna cut them a little bit thinner 
and literally just have these ready on the side. So all of this kind of goes into the, the prep, if you would. Broccoli, all right, a lot of people don't know what to do with broccoli. They throw it in water, and you lose all the nutrients. Yeah. You know, so we're going to sear it, and by doing this, all we're doing is cutting the florets off of the main stem. You really can't use that. Right. Now you've got a beautiful item that can saute in a few seconds, you know? And look at, you know, what I've always heard and always read in, in, in school and all the things I've been through with my education, you want to go with the colors of the rainbow. Yeah. Know? And, and the more colors you have, it, it, the more nutritious and the more healthy your meals are. There's absolutely no doubt. So now we're basically, okay, the trickiest one, this is where people always end up in trouble, and this is just kind of a fun knife skill, is I take an onion and I'll cut it in half. And when I do, you cut the tip off, and then you can pull that skin right off. And people have such a hard time on fresh onions, yeah. but it makes such a difference. And then you just slice them so that they become part of what we're gonna cook as well. I would have already gotten my finger by now. No, <laughs> no, I should put you're you a over here. You're a champion I don't, at that. No, I don't want you to have any bloodshed on TV, <laughs> exactly. but you know. But I mean, and the other thing, I love fresh herbs. Yeah. You know, everything that you do, I'm sure is concerning like fresh products. You wanna try and get your people eating healthy, huh? No doubt, no doubt. I mean, it's so important. Fresh basil is just a beautiful dish. I mean, beautiful item. I just take it and julienne it like this, and it makes a nice addition in for our little saute that we're gonna do, you know? Perfect. So you've got all these beautiful colors, all these beautiful flavors going into the dish. That's, that's really, I think, the essence of what we're trying to do. Right. Now, we're gonna come over here. Now, here's, here's the problem. If you're in your house, and you have a smoke alarm. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna go off. And you take this off right now while it's smoking heavily, it's gonna make a mess. So we're gonna turn the heat off, and what we want it to do now is sit. So we said six minutes. Mm -hmm. We've still got a few minutes left, but we want that smoke to settle into the fish. Gotcha. And, and the reason six minutes is the key, most people like smoke things for hours, you know? People oh, yeah. that smoke pork and all. Well, pork is not healthy, you know? This is healthy, yep. and if you oversmoke it, it doesn't get, it's just overpowering. Yeah. So six minutes is the key. That's all you need. It's, it's so simple. Wow. And, and it really is this easy. You can do this right in your house. And you don't have to flip the, the filet over, the salmon filet. You do nothing. You no, that's why it's on that rack. Great question, because it's raised, so it's actually smoking on all sides. That's great. Yeah, isn't that neat? So what we're going to do, we're going to actually get our pan ready. Now, the one thing I want to tell people, though, remember, it's only smoked. That salmon is still rare. I mean, yeah. it's, it's completely raw. And some people, I know there are people out there right now that would love to eat it that way, but that's not the way you want to eat it. So what we're going to do, let's clean this out, is do a little mix of seasoning that we're gonna put on the salmon that's totally healthy, Great. okay? We're gonna put some paprika, some white pepper, some black pepper, and you're gonna notice, no salt. Oh yeah. All right, garlic powder, which has no salt, and onion powder, which again, has no salt. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have you just kinda mix this up with this. Great. Just kind of get it so it's all kind of even. You know, that's, that, to me, that's such the key, is, is to find a way to make your, your meals healthy and taste good at the same time, where people don't feel like they're... They're suffering. Yeah. You know, I started on this healthy program about a year ago. I've lost 35 pounds, and I really focus in, and it's nothing extreme. It's eating this food, and doing some some typical workout. I mean, I'm not extreme. I don't go crazy. Right. You know? Well, you're leading by example, and people are going to see you and see what you're doing and say, wait a minute, he can do it. He's around food all day long. I mean, he, he, I mean, he has access to whatever he wants I mean, whenever it's he scary. wants. It's scary. I could walk into one of six restaurants and grab and pick, and that's, you know what I think the <laughs> other problem is, and, and you made a comment about it. It needs to be something where people dedicate and say, I'm going to sit down, and eat a healthy meal, as opposed to being on the run and thinking, I don't have time, so I'm gonna go get fast food. Yeah, the, the, the fast that food is just, the demise of our society right terrible. now. It's you terrible, terrible. It really is. It, it's, and, and it's that quick fix, and, and they get these empty calories, and I, I tell the people I train, if God made it, eat it. 
Right. If man made it, stay the heck away from it. You just don't want it in your system. You know, and it really is true because processed food is really the problem. It yeah. really is, you know? So what we're going to do, okay, we're at a point now. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. All right, hopefully I don't set the stage on fire. Oh, look at that. All right. And now you see, that is all you're looking at. Maybe I wonder if we can get a close-up down on that salmon before I pull it out of the pan. Because what that is is just natural smoke flavor. Wow. Nothing else. There it is. And, you can tell and, the color of it has changed. The, yeah, the color it, I mean, it went from being that bright orange, and as you see, now you can pull it out, and it's just absolutely flavorful. I'm going to set it back on the plate because we we still have to cook it. Right. It's actually still raw right now, and it's such beautiful fresh salmon. You want you don't want to overcook it, but you obviously need to cook it a little bit more. And you're, you're having to be real careful getting that off there because it's so tender. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Is that not incredible? That's unbelievable. We and it just came pieces. right off the grill, I, you too. You know what? It looks like that piece is going to be yours. Oh, wow. There you go. That's perfect. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take it all. <laughs> You'll eat it all? I, I tell you what, the staff won't be happy about that, though. That's the only we'll, problem. We'll share with them. Yeah, I think so. So anyhow, that's kind of phase one of this recipe. What we're going to do, and, and by the way, if you're interested in any of the recipes, you can go to mpbonline.org slash fit to eat or join the MPB Facebook page and get all these recipes. That's great. I know. Well, we're going to take a short break. Go to registered dietitian Rebecca Turner. She's got some great useful tips on buying yogurt. We'll be right back. Yogurt products are available today in a wide variety of flavors and textures, from regular to Greek to even frozen. You can enjoy yogurt with a spoon, a straw, or squeeze it from a tube. With so many options, it can be tricky to know which yogurt fits on your everyday menu. You may believe that all yogurts are healthy options. Unfortunately, not all are created equal. Yogurt does have the halo of good health because it's made from wholesome milk, but that can be overshadowed with unnecessary added fat, calories, and sugar. So let's look at some of the common categories of yogurt. First, you have your traditional yogurts, which offer a pudding-like consistency. It's gonna provide you with more sugar, though, and less protein. When looking for less sugar, go for the light variety. Light usually means less sugar while still low fat. Now for a protein punch, I want you to choose Greek style yogurt. It offers a thicker and creamier consistency and it provides twice the protein as traditional yogurt. Plain Greek yogurt is perfect for cooking, making dips, and baking. Now frozen yogurt, like ice cream, but it is a lower, little bit lower in fat. Frozen yogurt though is still a dessert, so choose fat free or low sugar options and top it with fresh fruits and maybe some toasted nuts. Keep these tips in mind while you're in the yogurt aisle, and it'll be fit to eat. Welcome back. I tell you what, Greek yogurt, it's ironic, but that's what our aioli is made with, no mayonnaise. Oh, fabulous. You know healthy, we don't healthy. want mayonnaise, huh? No, we don't want that at all. I tell you what, great work there. So I'm going to put you to work now. Great. All right, I'm going to put a little bit, this is about a teaspoon of a canola oil. Okay. And I'm going to hand you all of our veggies. Onions. Gotcha. Garlic, broccoli, carrots, zucchini, and let's let's take a little. We almost got too much because it's such a great way to bulk up your diet, though, huh? Oh yeah, it can fill you up, and it's all healthy. And if you'll throw that pepper in there, this is actually a little Italian seasoning, a little dried Italian seasoning. We're gonna hold off on the basil and we're gonna hold off on the wine. We're gonna get those veggies drunk in a minute. All right, so now what we're gonna do is take the salmon and let's go and we're gonna add just a little touch, again, about a half a teaspoon of oil and here we go. We're gonna season that salmon And then just place it very carefully in the pan. Uh-oh. All right, teamwork. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the help. You and got it. another piece. And this obviously is gonna be the sample piece. I wish they could smell this at home. I, oh, isn't that it smells, incredible? It smells so good. Wow. Let me rinse my hands just quickly. Yeah. You want me to stir these uh, veggies? All right, you ready? Oh yeah. Look at you. <laughs> and if you'll just stir those up. 
We're going to move all this out the way. And that just has the canola oil in it. And the, yep. and the that's it. That's it. Very, very, very healthy at this point. And you're going to see with them, let's kick that heat up even higher. And I'm going to turn the salmon. I do not cook it long. I love just turning. Look, look at that crust already. Wow. Isn't that incredible? So what, about a minute or 40, yeah, about 45 two, seconds? About two, two minutes, minutes, and it'll be a medium temperature that it's cooked. It doesn't need to be a lot. You know, and we've talked about that, that you know, people tend to overcook I'm gonna, I'm gonna their... I'm going to move this one over here on this burner a little bit hotter. And they overcook their vegetables, they overcook their meat, they, you know, and then when they overcook the vegetables, it takes all the nutrition out of it. And then, isn't that sad? It's unbelievable. And it's so easy to do that, people just don't realize it. So tell me about your cardio in the morning and your new workout. You, you doing yeah. about 30 minutes of cardio? I do. I do 30 at the beginning of my workout. I do 15 at the end. And, okay. and I try to get my heart rate up to about 170. And Is it running, elliptical, or you want Everything. Every form. You, it, you, you yep. try to vary it up. It, it, it's absolutely changed every single day. And, and, then, and then you hit the, the weight room and get some strength training to build the lean muscle mass. That's exactly what I do. And and how do you break your workouts up? Is it a body part a day or it two is. body parts? It is. It's a body part a day. Exactly. It's right. usually like abs one day, legs one day, arms, back, chest. And I fractured my spine a year wow. and a half ago. So this was a big deal for me, you know. How did you fracture your spine? On a jet ski in Mexico. <laughs> Yeah. Well, at least it wasn't in the gym. <laughs> no, 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 no. And I mean, it was really kind of sad that it happened that way. But you know what? Nonetheless, there was nothing I could do about it. And it happened so quick. It just shows you. But that was what my motivation was to get into shape. Yeah. I could either have laid around and taken pain injections for the rest of my life. Right. Or I could have actually done something and gotten myself healthier and strengthened. So I lost 35 pounds, strengthened my back muscles. And honestly, my back really does not hurt. I'm going to take, great? that salmon is good. It's good. It, it's Look, ready. It, 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 it smells so I know, good. I know. I know. Oh, man. It's, it's so delicious. It's absolutely our number one selling seafood dish at Salute. And I'm so proud of it. We've been making that dish for 10 years. And it's such a good, healthy fish, great protein for the body and all that kind of stuff. And if you're looking to be healthy. Tuna, salmon, you know, there's so many great things you can eat that are indigenous to us here, you know? Right. And, and I think people don't really take advantage of trying to cook something natural. Yeah. You know, you were talking about don't eat processed food. That's ab absolutely the key, you know? And the other side is don't overcook your veggies. You know, you're gonna see, these are gonna be nice and crunchy and crisp when we're done. Yep. I mean, they're gonna be absolutely yeah. incredible. But I, I tell you what, it's amazing to me, you train thousands of people every year, huh? Yeah, I, I love it. It's, uh, I don't think I was made to do anything else but be a coach and a trainer. Uh, all the things I went through in athletics and college football and pro football and being a part of a team, and that's our big component is that we take people from all different backgrounds, men, women, different races, and we pull them together and, and they're, they're, we treat them as a team. And, yeah. and it doesn't matter how old they are, we'll have, you know, 12, 11 year old kids all the way up to 80 plus year old people out there and they all love each other and they bond and, and you know they all have something in common they're right. trying to achieve they're trying to get they're trying, they're trying to get to, in shape yeah, yeah they're trying to get in shape and, and, and it's and they care about each other they pull for each other and they encourage each other it's a positive environment now i'm intense and I have to be. I somehow wanna, I, I don't push doubt it. that. Somehow I, wanna, I, I don't push doubt it. that. But I'm, I'm, looking, I'm <laughs> looking at these muscles and I'm like, no, but all kidding aside, you know what? It takes that. It, it, it does. And it takes what you talked about earlier. You had this dramatic event in your life where you, you broke your back. And it was either I'm going to lay around or I'm going to go for it. And right. I'm going to get healthy. And it's that, that pain of change. You know, if the true change happens when the pain is, is so great, you had enough of it, you'd rather go through the pain of sweating and grueling right. and your heart and your lungs pounding and you know and all that kind so of stuff. So much better. Well, let me tell you, we're gonna take a short break. When we come back, I'm gonna make the tomato aioli with yogurt and we're really gonna bring this whole dish together. So come right back. A lot of people see diabetes as one thing. In fact, 90% of diabetes is type 2 diabetes. So for patients and families of type 1 diabetes, um, 
it can be very difficult because you get told by society or by your neighbors that you shouldn't eat sugar or that eating too much sugar caused your diabetes or if you only um, uh, cut out this or that from your diet you should be fine or maybe there's a pill you can take. In fact type 1 is just a very different condition than type 2 diabetes and the elements of it although the common element is high blood sugars very, very different elements in terms of what causes it and what can be used to control it. It's very difficult to know exactly um, how much to uh, turn over your life to taking control of diabetes and how much to try to keep things the same. Um, blood sugars in children and adolescents can be very, very unpredictable. There are a lot of things that go into determining what a blood sugar is beyond just food and insulin, things like physical activity and hormones and adrenaline and those sorts of things. So parents can only control a small part of what a blood sugar is and that can be very, very frustrating for them and for the patient. I think the best success for a, a patient and family with diabetes is if they are able to achieve fairly good control, keep their child safe, but as much as possible maintain their quality of life in terms of their relationships, their activities, um, uh, marriages, siblings, all of those family dynamics. The more upheaval a diagnosis of type 1 diabetes causes, uh, the more resentment and um, more difficult long-term management uh, there is for the patient just because diabetes has seemed to take a lot away from them at a young age. All right, welcome back. Are you ready to put all this together? I'm ready, man. All right, this is just such an incredible meal. So what we're gonna do is take that Greek yogurt, all right, and put it into the bowl. Yeah, don't waste any of that. No, no, <laughs> it's, so, it's so good. Then we're gonna take some fresh chopped tomatoes, throw in there so it has some kind of substance. Just about a teaspoon of actual ketchup, believe it or not. Yeah. Diced onions, some fresh basil, and we're gonna save some of that basil to use at the end. Some fresh minced garlic, so obviously nothing processed. And then just a touch of balsamic vinegar. Good balsamic vinegar. And I'm gonna ask you, if you would, to take this and just stir it up just like you did that no seasoning. No All right? problem. I mean, it's such a great, healthy way. Aioli is typically homemade mayonnaise. And let's face facts, you and I both know, 12 grams of fat in one spoon, and it's just there's nothing good about it. No doubt. So while you're doing that, I'm going to start putting these plates together, and actually, you're lucky. You know why? Why's that? I'm making one for you. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm making one so you can actually try this. Cause I'll be glad I to be your official taster. I <laughs> absolutely love this dish. All right, we're going to put the veggies over on the side. The only thing I've added while we were gone was a little piece of some beautiful Swiss chard just for color to go underneath the salmon. But the one thing you can really bulk up on, and you know this, huh, Paul, are your veggies. Oh, no doubt. It's almost like you can't really eat too many. That's right. Just, just keep on eating. If you're hungry, just keep on eating those veggies. And, and the key is making them tasty enough so you don't feel like you're suffering. So let me go ahead and I'm going to start putting the salmon together on the plate. Let's put a beautiful piece right across it. Man, look how good that looks. We're gonna give you this nice piece over here. I know, is that not incredible? Absolutely incredible. I mean, it is just so delicious. You get that little extra piece, how about that? Is that fair? Fair enough. And one more bite. Now, the key, we don't use a lot. The idea on the, some perfect job, man, I tell you Thanks. what, you're good. <laughs> you're good, I might have to hire you. <laughs> I'll no, but all, all kidding aside, you know we were talking about working out and how important it is to have the balanced diet to go along with it. And I really believe that if people could see they could eat something that good, there wouldn't be any doubt they would eat healthy. And that it tastes so good too. Yep. They don't feel like they're, and you call it suffering. I yep. get it. Some people say, I don't want to go on a diet. Right. It's, it's, it's miserable, you know? What I do is I don't put it all over. I just like to put a little bit so that you still see how pretty that fish is and it doesn't overpower it, so you can use it as you like it. So a lot of what we made will be a little bit extra. And actually, you know who's gonna enjoy that, huh? Who's that? The staff the here. 
The staff, they'll, they'll the lick staff. the bowl. Uh, I'm telling you, man, <laughs> they, they, they eat pretty well when I'm here in town, I think. <laughs> so we're going to put a little bit on each end, and that way you can actually take some of the veggies and mix in with it as well. And it is absolutely that tasty. So here's the challenge. All right. All right. Did, wait, all right. Let me make sure I say this right. Did I get performance out of my potential? <laughs> yeah. Let's that's, see. The, that's the challenge. Well, let's go for it right here. Oh my goodness. Is that serious? That or is what? incredible. And you I see love that how slight, it is. just that slight smokiness? Yeah, just a little. It's not overpowering. Exactly. And that's the key. The key with seafood is you don't want to take away from the great flavor of fresh seafood. And those veggies are incredible. Thank you. Thank you. I think the, the hardest part in reality is that people typically don't start their day right. You had a great idea about maybe doing some type of breakfast, you know, specials because people really don't start off right, then they eat too late. Yep. Or they don't have time, so they eat on the go. You gotta break the fast. Breakfast is, is breaking that fast and, and your body's been cannibalizing itself all night. I know. You gotta wake up and you gotta get going. Well, let's make sure anyone out there who wants this recipe, visit the website at mpbonline.org slash fit to eat or better yet, join the MPB Facebook page. I would like to thank our guest, Paul Lacoste. I'm your host, Rob Stinson, and eat well, but more importantly, this was a great show, man. Great show, thank you for having me on, I appreciate it so much. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're gonna enjoy all this. Yeah.